Hey guys, I'm Chris from the Silver Symbol Channel, and in today's video, I have got a brand new power station to share with you. But this one is not just some typical power station. This small device is a true industry first. What makes this one so different are the batteries that this thing is using inside. Now, typical power stations either use lithium ion batteries or lithium iron phosphate batteries. But today, people are usually choosing lithium iron phosphate batteries for greater or longer life. But they also come at a gigantic weight penalty. But this company, Yoshino, has done something completely different. This tiny looking unit is capable of outputting over 2,000 watts of electricity. The other thing that is remarkable is this small device weighs just 31 pounds. Yoshino has created the first portable power station that uses solid state batteries. Inside these batteries, you no longer have the typical liquid that would exist in lithium or lithium iron phosphate batteries. That allows you to have more energy in the same amount of space. They weigh significantly less, but they're still able to have good long life and they can output a ton of electricity and they're also even safer than the lithium iron phosphate batteries that many people are looking for. Now it's also capable of outputting 3000 watts of surge power and the batteries inside give you a runtime of just over 1300 watt hours. Now in the real world the small box like this can actually run some surprisingly large appliances. For example if you had a window or a portable air conditioner around 5000 BTUs of output your air conditioner is going to turn on and off. They're usually going to cycle about 50% of the time meaning in every hour they're going to run for about 30 minutes while the compressor is engaged. Now even a small unit like this could run that type of an air conditioner for about six hours. Now of course if you're in a super hot climate and you're running it all the time it could be as little as three hours. And air conditioners are really big power hogs but a better example is something like a refrigerator. A somewhat modern refrigerator could be powered with a device like this for as much as 19 hours. Now fridges typically cycle on and off only about 20% of the time per hour. In the front of the device you've got USB 100 watt as well as a second USB rated at 20 watts. Additionally you've got these DC outlets or you can use the included car adapter that gives you a standard cigarette plug. They've also included this built-in light. Now normally I don't like these because of the silly SOS modes that people are never going to use but this one works fine. You push it, it turns on, it lights up the area you're at, and when you push it again, it just turns off. Now in the back of the unit, this is where you're gonna plug in your AC devices and also charge this thing up. This is capable of being charged three different ways. You can charge it in the car, by solar panels, or by plugging it into a standard AC outlet. And it does include super fast charging. You can actually charge this thing from zero to 80% in under one hour. Now the number one reason I love this thing is because of the weight. Having the solid state battery means you can pick this up easily, but the equivalent unit, say a Blue Eddy, would weigh two times this. Another cool feature is on the top, you've actually got a wireless charging pad and it's working. The outside design of this one is really cool. It's very well built. It's got this full aluminum handle that wraps around the side, but I also want to put this through a series of tests. I just want to make sure that the output and the ratings match exactly what they advertised. So we are able to run both heaters. Now keep in mind, this unit's only rated for 2000 watts. I've been running almost 2300 watts now for about five minutes, and I'd rather see them underrated inverter where it's able to output more, of course, than less. We'll switch it to high and it's obviously going to overload it. So we're almost 30% over its rating. And this is useful for things like surges and if you have pumps or anything that has a high startup voltage. Yeah, that's really surprising. We just shut off. Pretty impressive that it could run 2800 watts for almost 30 seconds. So in terms of a surge rating, I would definitely say this meets it. Now I'm back charging it back up. And I wanted to show you that you've also got an app. You can see your... AC input charge. You've got your maximum AC input that I talked about when the screen times out, firmware updates. Now Wi-Fi is not required, never need to connect it to the internet at all, but if you want to use some of these advanced features, even things like being able to mute the beep, you'll want to get this app. The next test I want to try to do is to charge it. Now we tried charging it in the wall, but I want to see if it can handle the solar power that it's rated for. Now I don't have the matching solar panel and you don't have to use theirs, but of course they do sell a version that they'll sell you directly. But I'm going to simulate the maximum amount of solar input this thing can handle, which is 600 watts. Now 600 watts by itself is not particularly huge, but most people getting a unit this size are only going to carry one or two solar panels. I'm going to use this solar simulator. This can get us up to 500 watts and let's see how well it performs. You can hear the fan ramping up because it's picking up more electricity coming in. We're now at 422 watts. Let's crank this all the way. Now I'm at my max and there we go, 500 watts. It's going to take us 94 minutes 
to bring it from 43% capacity all the way to 100%, and it does pick up that that is actually getting solar power. Now Yoshino did really break new ground with this unit. It is the truly first portable power station using solid state batteries. So if you're looking for the lightest portable power station on the market today using the most advanced SST batteries, this is definitely one to consider. I've put a link in the description below. You can see the current pricing and any promos they have going. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.